Hi and welcome to this new video about Apache Spark 3.1 features and in this video I will show you what changed if you execute a shuffle join followed by a group by expression using the same keys as in the join expression. So the code I the code I will use looks like that. So I have two different data sets, one which is much smaller than the other because it's the condition to execute it in the shuffle join. And later I will perform the inner join with, uh, with the ID column. And at the end, I will, group by I will group by everything by this very the same ID column. So that's the code that I will be executed against Spark 3.1. And I have exactly the same code that I will execute against Spark 3.0. And you will see that when we analyze this execution plan, we will retrieve two shuffle steps. So the first shuffle step, so the first exchange in the plan, you will find it for the join. And the second exchange will be there to perform the count preceded by, by this group by expression. So what happens when, in Spark 3.1 is that the very same code will not contain the last exchange because it's a bit redundant. After all, we already have all rows you want to count on the good, correct shuffle partitions. And as you can see here, we, can, we retrieve only the single shuffle step used to, to perform the join. And that's all. This video was uh, quite short, but the optimization was also rather easy to, to explain, but not be worried. It's not a single change involving joins in Apache Spark 3.1. And you will find another ones in the article, which is linked in the description of this video, and also in the videos, demos videos included in this article. It was Bartosz Konieczny from waitingforcode.com. Thanks for watching.